guess what? Nothing happens. Right now, you are seeing one of the world's most advanced bank notes and one of the least counterfeit notes in the world. Yes, we are talking about Australian bank notes. And in this video, we'll talk about Australian currency, bank notes, and everything you need to know about them. And a lot of information about Australian currency. Specifically speaking, we will be covering information regarding the history of these notes. Then we'll look at some of the features that they have built into these bank notes. We'll also look at each and every single note and very importantly we are going to do a stress test on these bank notes as well so if you want to know everything and you want to see that stress test at the end make sure to stick around the first thing first let's give you a little history about these bank notes so Australian currency came into circulation in 1966 and as like most other bank currencies around the world it was made of paper but there was a big problem in regards to the counterfeit with fake notes circulating in the economy and to overcome that the government decided to come up with a brilliant idea and that was to make these currency notes from plastic yeah you have heard it right so Australian currency is made of plastic specifically speaking polymer so after 20 years of testing in 1988 the government released first version of one of the notes in polymer and it was a huge success instantly and since then they have launched all their bank notes in polymer and it has been so successful that many other countries like Canada, New Zealand, Vietnam, Romania and even UK has adopted this technology for the banknotes. So that was a quick history in regards to these lovely banknotes. Now before we talk about the features, I just want to talk about how beautiful these banknotes actually are. I mean if you look at any of these banknotes, so just as an example, let's look at this $10 note. I mean what do you guys think? I think this banknote really looks beautiful. Would love to hear your thoughts on that in the comment section below. And and we can say the same thing about all other bank notes as well the way they have designed it and they have printed it and the colors they are just all beautiful now apart from just being beautiful there are many other features that you will see first thing first as these bank notes are made from plastic or polymer they are very very durable and I will show you that in the next few minutes with our stress test how durable they actually are now apart from being durable these are some of the most secured currencies in the world as well and they are very little counterfeit or fake notes out there for this currency and the biggest reason for that is the way it is being printed which we'll talk about it in few minutes and these notes tend to last at least two to three times longer than the paper bank notes and average lifespan of this one currency note is around seven years which is quite a lot comparing to paper and cotton bank notes that we see around the world and after the usage is finished they can be recycled again so they are considered to be one of the most environment friendly notes in the world as well and to make it accessible for everyone the government even have these tactile features in these new bank notes as well especially the one launched after 2015 onwards if you see these dots at the top these are the features where even a blind person a person with a low vision can tell what currency note it is isn't that interesting now let's have a quick look at each of these bank notes and see what are some of the features in these bank notes first thing with the five dollar note you will see the photo of queen elizabeth ii and on the flip side you will see the australian parliament at the top you will see this federation star then you see this little bird also known as pine hill right in the middle and right at the bottom you see federation pavilion and with this holographic image you can even see five dollars being printed right in the middle of this here as well and these yellow bottles as well which are part of australian's nature now let's look at a ten dollar note on one side of this note we have Mary Gilmore she was a famous Australian writer a journalist and women's right activist we have her photo over here as well and the holograms we see right at the top a pen nib a cockatoo and a homestead at the bottom then you can see ten dollars featuring in the middle here as well and there is a text as running in there in the middle of this window as well on the other side of the bank note we have Benjo Patterson he was a famous Australian poet and a author and that's why there is a nib here at the top to give respect to both of these poets and there is a nib 
shape on this side of the note as well. Let's move to the $20 bill. So on this side of $20 bill note, we have Mary Ribby. She was a famous Australian businesswoman and a trader, and she was also a philanthropist. And if we turn around the note, we will see John Flynn, person who founded the Royal Flying Doctor Service of Australia. Now, if you look around in the holographic side of the things, we have 3D compass at the top, then we have a kookaburra in the middle, and then we have at the bottom, Ribby's Macquarie Place House. Again, there are holographic features, and there is a window embedded into this currency note as well. And now, let's move to the $50 bill. So on this side of the $50 bill, we have Edith Cowan. She was the first woman to be elected to the Australian Parliament. On this side, we have David Winnipon. He was a famous Australian inventor, writer, and a preacher. And if you see these holographic images, we have a 3D book here at the top. We have a black swan in the middle here. And then we have a church at the bottom here. And again, these holographic, if you move them around, you can easily see some of these holographic images more and numbers and the writings in the middle as well. Last one on our list is $100 note. Now I couldn't get a hold of a brand new $100 note because they are in circulation but sometimes they're hard to find. But here we have the older version of $100 note and that's where you can see the difference between these notes and the newer ones. So on this side of the note we have Sir John Monash. He was a famous Australian military commander who was also involved in Gallipoli. And if we turn around this note, we have Nelly Melba, an Australian opera singer. She was known for her soprano voice. Here is a quick image of how the newer $100 bill looked like. So in the newer $100 bill, you can see 3D fan at the top, then you have owl in the middle, and at the bottom, you see shrine of remembrance. Now, obviously, there are a ton of other features in these banknotes, which is mind boggling. If you wanna know every single one of them, highly recommend you to check the RBA's website, which is Reserve Bank of Australia. And their website include all the features they have in these Australian notes. And while we are talking about Australian currency, it's not just about the notes, we also have coins as well. So these are all the coins we have here in Australia starting with 5 cents, 10 cents, 20 cents, 50 cents, $1 and $2. And if you see on the head side of these coins, there is Queen Elizabeth II's photos and if you turn them around, you will see Australia's nature, history and flora and fauna. One interesting thing about these coins, especially this 50 cent coin, is that it has 12 sides. So it's again, it's very difficult to counterfeit. Now before we move to the final part, which is stress testing. The fun part, I just want to say that these days, many people are not using these banknotes, which in reality is a bit sad because how beautiful these banknotes actually are. I just feel that they should be used more often because most of the people these days have started using plastic money, as you know, cards and Apple Pays and contactless payment methods, which means less and less banknotes are in use. Although if you are coming to Australia, you can easily find ADMs. And if you want to take out money, you can take out money from these ADMs or even from some convenience stores or supermarkets as well. If you want to know the value of these notes in your currency, I highly suggest you to check a website like xe.com where you can easily check how much these currencies actually are worth in your currency as well. Now let's move to the stress testing and we will be testing the most expensive currency note we have in our hand which is hundred dollars so the first stress test will be putting this under water let's see how it performs inside water will it last or will it just tank let's see so i have literally submerged this hundred dollar bill into water but guess what nothing happens and it's very easy to clean this note as well. All you need to do is, and it's still the same, amazing. Nothing has happened to this $100 bill note even after putting this in water. Let's do some other stress tests now. Let's test with this $50 bill. And I'm going to try to tear this apart. Let's see how it goes. trying my best but 
you can see nothing happened to this node last stress test 